All right, welcome back everybody. This is going to be the Hot Wheels Pop Culture Speed Shop Garage, I believe is what it's called. This is a uh, first one's going to be there's number one of five. It's going to be your HKS, your MBK van. So we saw the MBK van up there. Let me scroll in uh, with the Marvel set. Let me zoom in, see if we can get to it. There's that casting right there that we did in the last video. So, I guess I could have taken that out and showed it to you guys. Huh? Anyways, I like this uh, paint design on this one. I like the colors. It looks pretty cool. I'm assuming these are going to have the same tampons on each side. It's not like characters or anything that can change up. So I'm assuming it's going to be the same on both sides. But we'll see. Anyways, it's pretty cool. I like it. And like I said, I love the colors with this black. Wheels look good. Some white. I don't know if those are 10 spokes. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah, 10 spokes. It's got some painted tail lights. And yes, same tempo. Both sides. Pretty cool. Painted headlights. I need to get me one of them turntables. Instead of doing it the old-fashioned way. It'd make it a lot more presentable if I did that. There's a few people that do it. I just need to order some. Anyways, metal base. Painted metal base. And we are back to the rubber tires. I'm not going to call them real riders. And you guys know my rant about that. But the rubber tires that are slicks. Anyways, there's that. That is number one. And here we go with number two of five. This is Bilstein. Bilstein? Bilstein? I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, but it is the Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop. Uh, again, this was in uh, a couple of videos back, yeah. No, it was in the, uh, yeah, the Masters of the Universe. Uh, there was this casting. So, yeah. No, it wasn't the Masters of the Universe. There it is. It's right underneath the, the it was the uh, Marvel set. There it is, right there. Anyway, same casting. Yes, yes, yes. So, anyways, this one's pretty cool. It all has something to do with uh, car performance or car mods. So again, this one should be same front and back or driver side versus passenger side. Should still be the same. So let's go. We do have the uh, painted uh, lights on the back. Blinkers, tail lights. Again, same tempo. Painted headlights, blinkers, the real rider treaded tires, and the painted metal base. Very sweet. These premium lineups, man. You know, whenever you want to start slowing down collecting, Mattel comes out with stuff like this and keeps us going. They're not dumb. So here's number three of five. This is the hooker headers. I actually had some hooker super competition headers on my old 87 Chevrolet square body. If you go back and look at my uh, video on YouTube of my square bodies, just type in a, you know, master the Master Loafer Silverado, and it'll come up. You'll see some Silverado Hot Wheels, and then I get into the uh, actual square body that I owned for 17 years from brand new up until 2004. Anyways, yeah, from 87, and so it was the last year, but anyways, so let's check this one out. But yeah, the crate engine that I ended up putting in the truck was a ZZ1 engine from Chevrolet, and uh, it had the D-port style aluminum heads, and you could only put Hooker Super Competition headers on them, which were over 300 bucks. 
I couldn't put the $99 blackjack headers on it. I had to have the, the real good ones back then in them days. It was back in 1995 was whenever I'd redone the whole truck. Made a little hot rod out of it. But it originally had come with a uh, 350 throttle body injected engine. 5.7 liter. So half, half ton, short wheelbase, fleet side. Silverado. Man, I miss that truck. One of these days, I'll have me another one. Anyways, this one is, you know, I haven't even said the name of this one. So this one is the custom 77 Dodge van. Chevrolet uh, kind of uh, pulled rank on this one. But anyways, yeah, this is a sweet looking van. Of course, it's got the treaded rubber tires front and back. Silver metal base. Sweet. I like the top, but if they would have had a solid top, I think I'd like it better. But, you know, that's cool. It's all good. They do a good job, man. I tell it really does. So, let's go with number four. I was going to save this one for last. I actually looked through, like, seven different jammers because I swore I opened one of these. I know I did. I just don't know where it is. So, now it looks like I'm fixing to open a second one. Because I could not find my loose one. Coney, uh, I, I am assuming is how you pronounce this. This is a um, Volkswagen T1 panel bus. Uh, uh, I should have done some homework and some research to figure out. Because this one was easy. Headers. This one looks like shocks. So that one was easy. The HKS, I'm assuming it's some type of performance part, but I'm not sure. If you guys and gals want to leave comments in the section below, that would be awesome. I should have done my homework and uh, looked at some of these parts to see what they were into. I'm just assuming they're all performance parts, so hopefully I'm right. Anyways, let's open this one. Uh, I did get a few extras of these, so... It's not going to hurt to open another one, but man, I, I know I opened this one. I don't know where it is, though. And I don't think it's any jammers that I've already put up in this closet, because I'm like seven jammers over here behind on putting them up. I don't think these have been around long enough to go through seven jammers filled up. So, anyways, I like the two-tone, the silver and the white. It's looking good. Got the painted tail lights. Again, same thing there. Painted headlights, blinkers on the front, Volkswagen emblems, painted white. Yeah, this is sweet. Again, and this one has the uh, slicks on it, so the rubber tires. Again, I'm not calling them real riders, they're rubber tires, in my opinion. Which I know real riders are rubber, but you know what I'm getting at. Anyway, that's, this one's probably my favorite out of all of them. Of course, it's Volkswagen. And then last, but not least, number 5 of 5. The custom GMC panel van, Michelin tires. And uh, this is they're using the old A-Team van. You know, got your GMC grill and everything. So originally when this van came out, it was an A-Team's van. So let's check this one out. And here we go. Real pretty blue. It's a painted GMC grill. It's like... Let's see, let's look at the, you can't see the headlights. The side marker lights are painted front and back, orange and red. Painted tail lights. Nice van. It's good. Metal base. And it does have the uh, treaded rear riders on it. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, those wheels. You guys leave, you, you peeps leave comments in the section below 
What do you like better? You like the treaded rubber tires or do you like the slicks? Now if we were dealing with race cars, you know, drag cars or something, yeah, you know, I can see slicks, but something you drive on the road daily. I know it's not a real car, da 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 da. But I love the treaded tires much better. But the premium lineup, I hope Mintel never gets rid of them because uh, they are the, the the tampos. Everything on them is way better than your mainline cars. So they do really a good job on them. And so just hopefully, hopefully someday all these premium cars that are in my jammers like this with rubber tires and all metal bases and metal bodies hopefully they will eventually get put into display cases like that right there because uh being left over here in these jammers yeah it's a good place to store them but i'd rather be them on the wall hanging up where i can see them instead of in a closet somewhere this is why i originally opened the cars to begin with first seven years of collecting I uh, kept almost everything carded in boxes in the closet you couldn't even see what you had so I, I had a bunch of cases didn't know what I had yeah you know if I go to the store I can remember you know yeah I already have that have that you know but you forget uh, what treasures you do have hidden away in boxes and it's always fun to go through the closet or through boxes and find things that you forgot you had not really forgot what you had but like all these all these supers these are all supers right here that I'm eventually going to be opening that's what I'm doing now I've got some uh, more premiums stuff like that I've got some M2's I've got some convention dairy deliveries that I am going to be opening back there the bingo dairies uh, yeah so eventually these are going to get opened and I've got some premiums like mail ins and stuff too but yeah yeah so I'm going to get to these pretty soon of course that's uh, one of my favorite supers right there that purple Porsche anyways Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you peeps next time. Bye for now.